Hey guys, Christian Luderman here. In this video, I want to answer the question if you should quit your software developer job and for example, start doing freelancing or starting your own business. I was asking this question to myself once I had to make the jump from my software developer job in Denmark. I know it's, it's quite scary to go from all the security that could come with the job, especially in Europe or particularly in Denmark where it comes with it comes with a lot of uh, security to have a job. And the time we're in right now, you know, we uh, might looking to get into a recession, we might look for big layoffs. It doesn't seem as safe anymore. And I'll try to shed some light on this topic here in this video and help you making that decision. What you need to consider first and foremost is what are you getting out of your current job? For me, the most important thing when you have a job it's not about the money. It's about what you're learning. That should be the most important thing. That is like your main paycheck. It's not your paycheck. It is what you're actually learning. So if you day in, day out, check into a job and you learn new relevant stuff, you work with smart people in the area you want to work in and you see your career that is aligning with the direction of your career, then things all good. Then it's all worth it. But what I see in software development normally and what I felt myself that I would say within like one and a half years, two years, then you're gonna hit a plateau and you're just gonna do more or less the same stuff and you're not really gonna learn as much anymore. And as soon as you're not learning as much anymore, then you actually, you're wasting your time in a way because you are, per definition, if you are an employee, you are going to be paid less than the value you're delivering. Otherwise, the company wouldn't hire you in the first place. It's just how business works. They hire you to make money. If you're not learning, then you're just being paid less and you're wasting your time. So at that point, it's either time to find a job. At time, maybe if you have built up, I've made a bunch of videos about my own transition to being a freelancer. Um, if you set up yourself the right online presence, like I talked about blogging and creating content and speaking meetups, conferences, all that, then you are setting yourself up for good freelance contracts. Uh, and that's going to be way better for you than uh, being an employee. Also, when you are a freelancer, you are not wasting a lot of time on all the political crap in big corporations. You're just focusing straight on the technology and delivering value, which also made me you know, learn faster without even you know, being an employee. Because I was focusing all on Angular, I was changing between all these companies that were working with Angular. I was focusing just on that. Ask yourself, am I learning enough? Am I getting the the real benefits? You know, I'm, I'm looking for, for this company. And if not, yeah, it's it's time to look into other opportunities. It could be freelancing, it could be also, you know, maybe you want to join a startup. That's also, like, might be worth a swing, you know? Yeah, you, you probably want to make sure you're, like, you're working with people you actually trust and and you're able to bring in money rather quickly with the startup to mitigate the risk of just being another startup that, you know, is never making any money, but and just spending a bunch of money and hoping to get funding and eventually colliding. If you like this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you want to accelerate your Anglo career in the fastest way possible, head over to christianludeman.com accelerator and get started with the free workshop. See you next time.